In this video, we're going to do a comprehensive review of all day stretchers, what they are, how do they work, the science behind them, and more. Specifically, we're going to review the Valusan Forte, which is a popular and noble device for traction. And you can actually wear it while you sleep. Should you buy it? Does the science actually prove that it works? Let's find out. Okay, so first, what is an all day stretcher? So an all-day stretcher, also known as an ADS in the community, it's a vacuum chamber based device that uses a strap that you can stretch the penis with. The strap is, is just typically attached to the shin or the ankle to stretch the penis downwards in a downward direction. Or you can also use the strap and you can wear it around the belly to stretch the penis sort of in a sideways or upwards direction. The most popular of these devices is the Phallosan Forte. It's actually been mentioned by Derek for more plates, more dates before. Now I find that Derek has a very superficial knowledge of uh, PE because he only did it for a little bit back in the day. In any case, there's also a cheap Phallosan Forte alternative which you can buy on AliExpress for around $20. Now the Phallosan Forte, I believe is around two or $300 is a lot more expensive. And you can watch my review of that cheap one, of that cheap version here. Make sure you find the link here. Uh, now the main difference is the quality and the fact that with the Phallosan Forte, you know precisely how much traction forces you're applying while you're wearing it. It has this little gauge um, with like color guided gauge that you can see how much traction you're actually using. So an ADS specifically refers to a device that uses a strap, right? And can be worn for many hours at a time. So even though the Phallosan Forte uh, can also be used with a rod extender, which is called the Phallosan Forte Plus, this video, we're only going to focus on the ones that use the strap. We're not going to talk about the Phallosan Forte Plus. Now, the real beauty of an ADS is that you can wear it while you sleep. So the Phallosan Forte actually encourages this, and I have tested this myself. It's perfectly safe. I would say you just make sure that you start off with plenty of slack when you're first starting off. And maybe just don't sleep with like your pets or other people. If you have pets and they can be, you know, they can get all wild, just be careful because they can actually uh, pull on it and that can be very dangerous. And you can also wear an ADS while you're working or you're running errands or just going about your day. Now, my main problem with an ADS is that the traction forces can actually vary especially when you're wearing the ankle strap and it can vary a lot like from a little bit of tension to very high tension depending on how you position your leg now the belt strap is a lot better because the traction forces will not vary however it can be you know at least for me it's a little bit more uncomfortable to wear and also depends like how well you can hide it um it depends on what type of clothes that you wear i find that this leg strap one is a little bit easier to hide and a lot more comfortable now with the phallosan forte uh, you're supposed to use a glance cap. So here's um, what a glance cap looks like. Now, I personally hate using a glance cap. I think it's even more problematic to use if you're uncircumcised like I am. And this is why I prefer to use a micropore tape when using a vacuum chamber. So this is uh, what micropore tapes looks like. I have another video um, that explains how to use a micropore tape when you're using a vacuum chamber. And uh, the way that the reason that I like the micropore tape is because it actually holds back the foreskin and it avoids it from being pulled into the vacuum chamber, which can cause actually edema in the in the foreskin. And also it ensures that all the traction is actually applied to the shaft and not the skin. You do not want traction being applied to the skin. But if you're not cut and you use the glance cap successfully, comment below and let me know what your technique is. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Let me know. My other issue with an ADS is that you cannot just easily add more tension after you put it on. This is why the Restorix device is quote unquote more effective. Meaning that with the Restorix device, you can wear it for less time per day and you can see similar results. I'll go over the results in a little bit. And the reason for this is because you can actually increase the tension after you've put it on. Increasing the tension after you put on an ADS is not that easy. You have to kind of readjust the straps and it's kind of cumbersome. So I do not personally use or would recommend using an ADS as your main traction therapy mechanism. The only reason that I would recommend for someone to use an ADS if they don't is if they don't work from home or they cannot wear the um, erotic extender for you know four hours or more a day. In which case an ADS, um, while not the most effective, will actually get you results. So how do I use an ADS? Well, luckily, uh, lucky for me, I work from home. So I can wear an rod extender for many hours a day. And extending is my preferred form of therapy. Occasionally, I also do like vacuum hanging with a maximum of around seven pounds, maybe eight pounds maximum. I also have a pulley system on my desk 
under under my desk and my desk i can actually turn it into a standing desk and then i just put like a bunch of weights on the bucket to extend while I, while i'm sitting on my desk and i can do like straight out traction either standing up or sitting down um while i'm sitting on and working on my desk now i use an ads as a supplement to rod extending or hanging so basically i only throw it on if i didn't get enough time using a, an extender but even then, I'll usually just pump for like 30 minutes and I'll call it a day. And the reason for that is I'll either use an ADS or a pump because I like to use either one of those as an anti-turtling device. Because as you know, when you're doing PE uh, and you're overworking it or you're working and you're putting in a lot of time, your penis can turtle, right? Meaning it can, it can like shrink a little bit. We all know this, like if it's cold outside, it'll shrink a little bit. Um, and I like to use an ADS as an anti-turtling device specifically especially if i had a, like a specifically heavy session or long session or when i was you know back in the day when i was doing more short hanging sessions with a clamp device i would wear an ads so that i would heal in an elongated state now i want to quickly touch on the science of penis enlargement so there's essentially two schools of thought one is that when you extend or hang you're creating micro tears in the penile tissues and you need to heal in an elongated state to avoid healing in a contracted state. So this is similar to Pironis. Pironis is basically when there are macro or big tears which develop into scar tissue. And because your penis is in a contracted state, those big tears heal in a contracted state, right? And that's the reason why the penis then curves or shortens due to those big tears healing in a, in a contracted state. Now, the other theory is that by using traction and, uh, and applying tension forces on the penis, you're creating new cells through mitosis and other processes. Now, I'm not going to dive too deep into this. I've, I've attached a couple of uh, studies below. I'll give you my own personal belief, my own personal conclusions on these studies. But I believe that both are true depending on the context. So we obviously know that you can tear the penis, right? This is why Peronis exists. So my belief is that when you're doing jelking, or other like high intensity workouts, you are creating micro tears. However, when you're doing long-term, low intensity traction, you're inducing mitosis. And I do consider, I do consider uh, weight hanging, whether with a clamp or vacuum, to be high intensity. So in my opinion, if you're doing high intensity workouts, you should use an ADS, or really like any sort of device that'll heal, help you heal in an elongated state such as a healing sleeve to ensure that you heal up in a long state to ensure that those micro tears basically are healed up when you're at the longest maximal state. Now, I also own like the Total Man uh, healing sleeve, which I'll do a review shortly on it. And I love it. I love it. So, but I, I'll use both. They're both really good. In any case, you can also cause enlargement through mitosis, but it just takes longer. So you can cause enlargement through mitosis from long time, low intensity traction, such as a rod extender or an ADS. However, I would say that using a rod extender is even more effective and you are inducing mitosis, but I would recommend a rod extender that you can actually increase the tension dynamically. So if you can increase the tension while you're wearing it, that's going to be far more effective. And that's basically proven by the Restorix uh, device study. Now, speaking of studies, I want to do a little bit of a study review. So for all those science deniers or the people that don't believe in PE, let's go through some medical studies specifically about the Phytosan Forte. Now, I have gone through like many studies for devices like the Restorix or the Penny Master Pro in my other videos, and they already proved the efficacy of traction to elongate the penile tissues. So there is one study that is specific to the Phytosan Forte, and it was conducted by a clinic in Germany over a period of six months. The goal was to determine the efficacy of the strap-based Phallosan Forte for changing penile length and girth. Something important to note, which is very critical, that this was not for men with Peyronie's disease, as is the case in most other studies. So on average, the Phallosan Forte was worn for six hours. This is why I tell guys to wear the traction devices for six hours a day, at least. I would say like four hours a day if you're using something like the Total Man Rod Extender, <clears throat> the V2 version in which you can actually add tension, but six hours a day is what they uh, told the participants to wear for. And this is similar to the Penny Master Pro study. The only difference is the Restorix study. And that one had participants wear it for just 90 minutes a day. But this is critical. They had the participants increase the tension while they were wearing the device. And this is because penile tissues tend to relax and elongate while you're wearing it. 
And so it's to, in order to have the best type of therapy, you have to increase the tension while you're wearing the device. Now, this study followed 24 patients for six months, only two, and, and only two of those patients dropped out of the study. However, five patients were excluded for unknown reasons. So it's not a huge sample size, but um, good enough for a study. So the average age of the participants was 41 and a half years old when they started the study. Now let's go through some results. So on average, the penis, on average, the girth increased by 0.64 centimeters after three months in 0.80, 0.80 centimeters after six months. The minimum was no increase in girth and the maximum was actually 2.50, two and a half centimeters in girth increase. Very, very interesting. In general, I would say like traction devices are not good for girth gains in any way. So keep in mind though, that this was flaccid girth. So it could have just been cold that day or you know several other things, who knows. Now for erect length, right? Which is the thing that we all really care the most about. The, the average change after three months was 1.05 was centimeters. The maximum was 3.80 centimeters, almost four centimeters. That was after three months. After six months, the average increase was 1.78 centimeters. That was the average, but the maximum was 4.80 centimeters. Now keep in mind that not all men wore it for six hours a day. So while on average for all the participants, the phallocin was worn for more than six hours, rather it was worn for six hours, but the maximum was 10 hours. So some participants were really, really motivated and they wore it for up to 10 hours a day. And the minimum was just two hours a day. So we can conclude that the people that wore it the most had the best results. So here we see that the study proved that once again, traction does increase erect length significantly and girth marginally, but statistically significant. And there you go. This was a comprehensive dive into all day stretchers, also known as ADS. We proved that it is effective and for devices that have a vacuum chamber, they are absolutely safe. You do have to wear it for many hours for it to be effective, but that is expected with sort of any tissue expansion technique. And if you like this video and review, check out this other video where I review all the different methods of increasing the penile length with science. And make sure to subscribe to help support the channel. I also have a cash app for any donations that will help me purchase devices and make better videos in the future. I've also included all the studies that I quoted in the description below. Thanks for the support and see you next time. Peace.